to the night of. But before, the storm's here too now. Maybe it's everywhere. And if I'm here, then Sophie, the Overlook. Which Sophie will be there? The one that drank champagne with me out of a crappy mug? The weird doorway is gone? Or the one who hurt so many people? Even herself? God, this is just like before. I didn't want any of this. I tried so hard to save her. But. Fancy seeing you here. Which Sophie are you? Am I even Sophie? After all of that? Holy shit! <laughs> you really did it! <laughs> Weather's worse than I remember it. Storm followed me. So did I, apparently. I've never done that before. I guess it's time. Do you understand what you're asking me to do? You've already done it, right? At this point, it's just recitation. Sophia, I'm serious. This is too much. Stop stalling, Max. You saw what happened. There wasn't any of me left. It was all Moses and Ben and Lucas and Gwen. It hurt so much. I heard so many people. Help me fix it. Please. That's what it feels like to capture the perfect photo. It feels good. Final. Maybe we are cursed. You, me, and Maya. Or maybe the world is cursed. We just live in it. Safi. That's poetry and bullshit? Yeah, I know. You're so important to me, Sophie. God, you're such a cornball. <laughs> Pull the trigger. choice between two shitty futures. Come on.
looks like I'm not dead. And I'm in the North Quad. Small victories, Max. It's so quiet for a storm. Like, oppressively quiet. Safi? Safi! I'm not in the past anymore. Safi could be back to the way she was. I have to find her. Max? Safi? Safi? I can hear you! But where? Where are you? What's going on? Is it an emergency? Yes. Unfortunately, it's one only I think I can handle. Help me! Diamond! Max, thank God! I walked out of the snapping turtle and then somehow I was here. The eye of the storm? I see it. What the fuck is going on? I don't know, but if things are weird now, they're only going to get weirder. That's not comforting. I wish Moses was here. I hope he's okay. Come on, let's get inside. This storm is as bad as it looks. Maybe Sophie and Moses found shelter. Max, I'm right behind you. I'm past the living in a dorm age. I'm past responding to Warren's texts, too. Hey, uh, Moses? Give me the Cliff Notes version of what we're actually here to see. Have you seen Sophie tonight? Like, why am I not at home wrapped up in a blanket burrito right now? So, should we be worried about this crazy asteroid hitting Earth? You're not making any sense. Are you trying to tell me something? Just trying to capture the perfect photo. The perfect photo. The perfect photo. Hang on. Safi? All right, Max. You have 24 hours before the world ends. What would you do? 
Safi, are you in there? Max! Max, it's me, Moses. I... Moses! All right, Max. You have 24 hours before the world ends. What would you do? I don't know. I guess I'd... Watch Return of the Living Dead and, uh... Eat a whole pizza? Right, Moses? All right, Max. You've got 24 hours before the world ends. What would you do? Try it again, but double expose the photo. Max, thank you. I, I. What happened? I don't know. It was like Safi had locked me in a kind of. I don't know, a sarcophagus? I was trapped, but still protected somehow. And I could hear Safi. I could hear you. Just outside of it, I... What did she say? She was hurting, Max. That's all I could tell. Whatever you did, snap me out of it. Or snapped her out of me? Max? Max, where? I'm sorry, I. Safi? Safi? I think I know what I have to do. Beth, I'm coming with you. No, stay here. The storm. I've been through something like it before. Reality gets unreliable. Better if you sit tight. Machine Angel Psychic Storm? See you on the, uh, flip side. When a door closes... A window opens. This isn't Caledon. This is Blackwell Academy. Chloe was shot here. I listened to it happen. I... You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Where'd you get that? What are you doing? Chloe! Come on, put that thing down! Don't ever tell me what to do. I am so sick of people trying to control me. You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! <sighs> Maybe Sophie's right. <sighs> Maybe we are cursed. Cursed to relive our worst moments over and over again. I had a chance to save Chloe from this bathroom, from Nathan's gun, and I did. 
and dozens of people died instead to my storm. Well, joke's on you, Storm. If you don't think I play out this moment in my head every day, then you don't really know me. Where is that coming from? Oh, Kate. You deserved better friends than the ones you were stuck with. Better than me. This still isn't as funny as the artist thought it was. It's in one of these stalls. new. Lucas, I have to get down there. Go fuck yourself, E. Never thought I'd hear that again. Jefferson's sick photos. One binder for each girl. Never believe people who try to justify torturing women by calling it art. What can I... Okay, one neb is cute. Kinda. One. Kinda. This is not that. I told you this place was the portal to hell. Behold, a devil. Jesus. Possessed dolls much? Still busted. I'm not getting down this way. Serious nightmare fuel. I wonder if that ladder is still here in the other timeline. I swear, any other day, a tree blossoming in a bowling alley would be the weirdest shit I'd seen that day. I have to get down there to Lucas. Can't be. 
18 anymore. So this is what it's gonna take. Feel him looking at me through that. Staring at this makes my head hurt. I had so many dreams about this thing. I think I... I forgot just how many. Never again! Once is all you get. Time to get the hell out of here. I still need to get to Lucas. If not for Sophie that day, that would be my headstone. And now I have to return the favor. Yikes. What happened to you, Thomas? A forgotten hope, like a crack of light across my heart. Maya's memorial tree. What the hell is it doing here? We gaze at each other in the windowless box. It is flight or fight. Never forgive. Lucas, it's me. It's Max. But there are no bells, doors, or windows. Only his face. A mirror. And I feel a forgotten hope. Like a crack of light across my heart. Smile, Lucas. Maybe double exposing the photo again? It worked with Moses. Max. It's really you. In the flesh. I thought I was dreaming. Sophie was there. What the shit is this place? Stay put. Okay? It's dangerous out there. I think that's... Miss Caulfield? Is that you? Reggie, I'm so glad you're okay. Max, what the hell is happening? I'm not sure. It has to do with time... A time... Vortex that manifests in a storm. Ugh. Time vortex. Fuck, you're right. I remember Sophie being shot, and I remember seeing her around campus. 
Just stay here, okay? I'm going to fix this. This is Safi. Isn't it? This is her pain. What we did to her. Vin, I don't think Safi blames you for. <laughs> no. <laughs> You're right. She doesn't. She was in my head back there, and she doesn't think about me at all. Two Sophies in two universes, and neither of them cared if I live or die. <clears throat> you know, I, I was in love with her, or I thought I was. Maybe you should. Focus on what's in front of you. Yeah. I should go make sure Reggie's okay. He looks like he could use a hug. Or something. I'm going to fix this. Trust me. I do. I do trust you. Be careful, Max. Okay, out of the frying pan and into the turtle, I guess. Amanda, thank God. Are you okay? I don't know. Weird shit at the turtle is someone flipping the paintings with the bathroom key going missing, not this. Hey, it's not safe out there! Max. What is this storm? Why is Gwen out there, and why are you not also freaking out? Look. Go get yourself some water, or a beer, and I promise I'll explain soon. Or try to. I don't think Gwen entirely knows she's outside. Gotta find a way to get close enough to take Gwen's photo. Chloe. God, Chloe, I'm sorry for everything, but I'm also so, so tired of being sorry. Thought I'd be used to this. At least the motel is new. Jesus. My first journal entry from when I got accepted to Blackwell. July 10th. All those years ago. If even if I were hungry, I'd rather just wait till I'm back in the snapping turtle to eat. Getting blocked by a cat is definitely a low point. And our next contestants on Fire It Up, best friend, Monique and Alicia. What's the story? Thanks, Don. Yeah, Monique and I were roommates first, then we learned we both loved to cook. There's literally no one I'd rather have in the kitchen with me than Alicia. Oh, big same. In fact, the other chefs may as well take their aprons and go home. We got this. Chloe let me keep her lockpicking set. Still feels like we're partners in crime. Monique and Alicia, what's your story? Thanks, Don. Wild that my baggage is such an on-the-nose metaphor. 
That's why Safi is the poet, not me. That can't be the right time. Ah, yes. The famous mountains of Topeka, Kansas. No escape, huh? <laughs> Buddy, that's the story of my life. It's past time for me to get a new one, but we've been through so much together. Don't worry, Safi. I'm coming. Is this the same room? No. This is where I stayed in Santa Fe. I think. Don't know how she did it, but Chloe was like Top Chef Drifter on one of these in our motel stays. Chloe liked motels. Most of them still used keys. Not key cards. Can't I? This was supposed You didn't have to put on your red dress for me. Can't you give us till I don't know, Billy? I'm sorry, but better advocacy in Missouri than full of hate for the brotherly love, yeah? Hang on. Okay, wait. This is... Pretty sure this is that motel in Cleveland. Oh, all right, Cleveland. After this shoot, I'm gonna nap till June. Maybe September. I'm so tired. Maybe if I lie down for a few minutes, all of these rooms will stop spinning. Feels so nice to rest. I wish I didn't have to get up for that shoot. Who was the client again? Or the location? I... That's the problem with moving around so much. All these rooms really do start to blend together after a while. One big amorphous blob of motels. Like some kind of nebula. Nebula, 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 nebula. I was just there. There was... Sophie. This... isn't right. get out of here if I can't even open this door? How... How do I get out of here if I can't even open this door? Now that I've traveled to purgatory and back, 
I can finally see what's going on with Gwen. I'm back. Jesus, Max. Warner Girl first. Sorry. You disappeared and I don't know where you went. I'm okay. And I promise I'll explain everything. Later. She's flirting with you, right? Listen, I'm here to help you. <laughs> I adore you, but read the room, bud. That's Sophie, all right. Hang on, Gwen. It's almost over. Gwen, stay here and take shelter. Wait, what are you gonna do? Sophie's out there, somewhere close. I can feel her. And she needs me. I need her. Be safe, yeah? When am I not? Why do I always gotta fall for the weird ones? Always forget you're so huggy. I was so fucking worried about you. When I couldn't see you anymore, I thought it got a little hairy. Thank you, Max. Don't thank me yet. We still have to find a way out of this place. Or this time. Hey, I'm taking a minute. All of that was pretty fucked up. Yeah. But who needs all the king's horses and all the king's men? I've got you to put me back together again. <laughs> you know, I was pretty cool. I accept phoning gratitude. <laughs> Consider yourself fond. Oof. So... Any chance of everybody just forgetting I tried to rip out their soul? I don't think so. Everyone I've encountered seems lucid. And the timelines seem to be combining. Great. Fantastic. We'll deal with it. Time travel, alternate universes, scraping together the broken pieces of your unstable friends. What else can you do? If we leave this world 
I can fry a mean egg. Promises, promises. <laughs> what? You just seem... Like, you're about to make me cry. In fairness, I've seen pet food commercials make you cry. Here's the thing. I'm glad you were here too. You know. But I just tore everybody apart into tiny little pieces. They'll forgive you. Will they forgive me? Maybe I don't forgive them. Maya isn't any less dead. Everybody I cared about still betrayed me. My mom... will never be different. I think the best thing would be... clean break. I don't belong here. Don't say that. Of course you do. After your hometown got whirlwinded, what did you do? I ran away. You're not like me, Safi. You're way stronger than I ever was. Don't say that about yourself. You have it wrong. People like you and me, you don't belong at some B-tier liberal arts university with a bunch of washed-up bloggers ready to knife each other for tenure. We're... fucking divine. <laughs> Come on. I'm serious. The shit that we can do? Gods can do that stuff. Or... monsters. scared anymore. All that stuff about curses and destiny and breaking the world, it's not real. You're real. You're what matters to me. Just stay, and we can work it all out. I hurt people. And I fixed it. We can fix it. Together. Of course. Duh. That's why you're so confident. The figure's the only person I can rely on is me. Safi, I don't... Last piece of me, Max. It's in you. Why isn't it hurting me like it hurt everyone else? Maybe I trust you? Maybe it's more of your magic max bullshit? I wish I didn't have to take it out. Is that weird? It's a little weird, but what's some weirdness between friends? We should though, right? That's how we get out of here? If I had to put money on it, yeah. It's probably for the best. We don't want you to get an infection or anything. <laughs> <clears throat> See you on the other side.
Safia. Oh my god. Yasmin. Everything is going to be okay. Don't worry. Do you think you can get up? Can you... Oh, Safi, help me! Clean break. Remember? Oh, Maxine. Don't let her go. It's okay. Safi! <sighs> She's your mother. Oh, yeah? Now I'm my mother. I can be anyone, Max. I can be a cute girl at the bar. I can even be... Sophie, stop it! It's... It's real? I, I wasn't hallucinating? What are you? And what did you do with my daughter? You can make her forget she saw that, right? Better yet, you could make me unshoot her. You have an instant undo button on life, Max. Why not use it? If you think that's how it works, you don't know anything. There's always a price, Safi. Always. You're right. I've got a lot to learn. So teach me, Miss Caulfield. What? You said we could fix everything. Together. Safi. I can't. I have... Fuck, I have... My, my life. Everybody. I'm going to find other people like us. People with powers. I spent my whole life thinking I was the only one. Knowing I could never tell anyone because they would look at me like that. But now there's you. You and me. Time traveler and a shapeshifter. Imagine <laughs> what we could do. And who cares if I'm a silly little girl whose mom needs to show her how the world works? Because now it works however I want it to. Stay here. Keep your job, your life, whatever irresistible glory Caledon can offer you. But I have to know. When I come back, are you going to stay with me, Max? Are we in this together? Or is everything you said in the storm just words? Or you need to leave. There's nothing for me here. I mean, besides you. But you'll wait, right? Be safe, Safi.
She knows me better than anyone. Knew me better than anyone. The me now, though? After all this? Maybe it's time I found out who that Max is. No more lies. No more hiding. They're all waiting for me at the Snapping Turtle. You two make it look so easy. I bet you never had to explain your bizarro superpowers to someone you made out with. Hey, Alice. Hey, you didn't answer my texts. So, you... Uh... Working on your new book? Maybe you should switch to science fiction. Real fucking funny. I just had some kind of psychological breakdown and you're laughing. I don't really know how to explain what happened. But... You should think of it as a second chance. My life's fucking trash now. No thanks to you and Sophie. You're toxic, Max. I can't surround myself with that kind of energy. Maybe I'll write my own book about this whole mess. My side of the story. Uh, well, goodbye, Lucas. Good luck. Go fuck yourself, Max. Mean. I haven't heard from her since the day she came out of surgery. Hello? Hello, Bexit. How are you doing, you know, mentally? Not very well, to be frank. Half of me will never forget what I saw. What Safia became. The other half of me had begun to accept her as dead. Yes, mean. What you saw during the storm... I don't need an explanation. Not yet. If I try to understand, then there will be no room for my recovery. And I will recover. I have to find Sofia. Any news about your job? I heard the board, um... I have been arguing with them. I made my mistakes, but these are offset by an excellent track record. And... did the board buy that? They did not, no. I have been asked, <laughs> forced, to step down. I love my daughter, Maxine, just like you. I am not a monster. I haven't heard from Sophie, if that's what you're trying to ask. Oh. I, I had hoped. One moment. Uh, excuse me. I, I'm apparently well past the appointed time to take my painkillers. <sighs> Until next time. Jesus, campus cleanup is gonna be a... Here goes nothing.
Well? Not a peep. Guess I'm not surprised. Would you come looking for us if you were her? But it's not me. It's Safi. Does anyone ever know what she'll do next? Does she? Maybe we should go easy on her. Wait for her to pick up the pieces. In the meantime... Take your time. I'll be here when you're done. I want to check on how everyone's doing first. So you're super Max. Guess your secret identity's gone, huh? I wanted to tell you. But you couldn't. Just like with the Maya thing. Any more secrets, or do I finally get to know you now? Would you really have believed me, though? If I had told you? It is pretty insane. <laughs> I remember Safi dying, and I remember her trapping me in an impossible storm. Still not sure it was real. Where does that leave us? I'd understand if this changes things. I don't know if I can answer that right now. All of this scares the shit out of me, honestly. If it weren't you, I don't know how down I would be to play Lois Lane. But it is you. And I like you. I think I need time. Sort out my shit? Give me a little. And then who knows? <laughs> Maybe you can win me back. Challenge accepted. Max! Sorry, I just... You're gonna explain what happened, right? Hey... Me okay? What do you think it all means? Why you? Or Safi? I used to ask myself stuff like that all the time. Come up with any answers? No. But I did fuck up a lot of my relationships in the process. Wouldn't recommend it. How are we supposed to walk around knowing something like that could happen? You already handle that every day. Anything could happen at any moment. You could be hit by a car. Struck by lightning. Is this your pep talk? You're the one. Hey, Max. 
Our Lady of the Storm. <laughs> wow, let's not do that. How are you guys holding up? Oh, my whole world has been rocked. You rocked my world. <laughs> I remember a bunch of things happening that I plan to repress until I have a spectacular nervous breakdown at age 40. At least you're in this together. Yeah. I, I don't know what I would have done if I was there by myself. <laughs> For now, I just want to get through this election. Oh, right. The Abraxas election. So you're not stepping down? I'd ask how you know that, but at this point, Caulfield, if you grew another head, I wouldn't even blink. <laughs> I'll get right on that. <sighs> Diamonds? That storm seemed kind of evil, all I'm saying. Yeah, it was dangerous. But you're projecting. Forces don't have, like, ill intent. There's no good or bad in science. Two super-powered people just happen to find each other, and then a weird time storm takes over our minds? That's ominous. As fuck. And don't say that's just my neocortex working, because I swear to God, Moses. You know me so well. Do you blame Safi for what happened? I just want to know she's okay. Not an answer. It's complicated. There's so much she didn't tell me. Or maybe she tried and I didn't pick up on it. Doesn't mean any of this is your fault. You're... the most empathetic person I know, Moses. Thanks. Everything's changing so fast. I'm not sure what I'll do when you graduate. You've got Tony. Tony's not you. What do you mean? Nobody keeps me on task like you. You're the only reason I get anything done. Oh. Hey, if something happened in the storm, I mean, if you want to talk about anything... I'm fine, all right? Jesus. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to snap. This whole thing's got me weirded out. It's okay. I argue with my siblings all the time. You're a lot like my... What do you say to a picture? For old time's sake? Moses has hypothermia. And now, crippling anxiety. I can never have enough shots of Moses. Hmm. Smile like when we saw that meteor shower on the roof. I couldn't smile. My face was frozen. Just do it, you big doof. Some weather we're having, am I right? Hope that wasn't the grand explanation you promised us. Hey, isn't eloquence your job? I just take the photos. <laughs> I felt how much she hated me, Max. It was terrifying and disappointing. Yasmin played everyone against each other, Gwen. She used you. I don't think I've ever felt like such a mark. It's in the past now. I hope so. I think that's everyone. Okay, Moses. Let's give them the talk. Everyone's pretty shell-shocked. Yep. 
How about you? Still excited to have double memories? <laughs> I can't be the only one. Seriously? <laughs> Come on, it's fascinating. What if Safi really does come back? She did some terrible things, Max. And you basically gave her your seal of approval. I'm not giving up on Safi. You shouldn't either. Jeez, Max, nobody's writing her off. But I hate being scared of my best friend. Hey, we're a team, right? I'll handle it with you. No more hiding or running away. What about the blue hair girl, Chloe? Are you ready to stop hiding from her? I think so. Not yet, but... I've been there over and over again It's finally starting to make sense I never knew what to say when they'd say to call a friend But I think it's starting to make sense and I'll try to get it right. I think it's time I explained a few things. Have you on my side? I feel fine some days. I just want to get it right. And it won't always make sense. And I'm not proud of every decision I made. But. It's the truth. What's coming next is going to be difficult for all of us. But we're going to get through it together. I promise. And I'll try to get it right to have you on my side. I feel this time. I'm not going anywhere. I just want to get it right. And I know that I won't have to. We're gonna have to get you a blood transfusion. What the fuck are you doing here? You remember me. That's flattering. I've seen nosebleeds like that before. So you can run, or you can follow me and get some answers. Your choice. <laughs> 